So that's just a quick demonstration of the Atom turn signal controller that I'm putting together. Um, this is actually the first prototype I'm running. Show you the uh, switch. Looks pretty much the same. It's a IP56 sealed waterproof switch. A little, little different than the stock one, but uh, basically <coughs> uh, left and right momentary switch. So give it a quick click and you get a temporary lane change passing type indicator like a lot of European cars have. Uh, BMW comes to mind in particular. Uh, press and hold results in the signal staying on. You can then give it another click to cancel and obviously works on the other side as well. And then the main differentiator here versus other things that have been out, when the switch is on, <coughs> executing the turn and bringing the wheel back and center also cancels the switch. So in that regard, basically just like a, every other car I've ever had. Ta-da! Uh, not much else to show other than that. Uh, installation is pretty much plug and play. <clears throat> the box itself is about two and a half square inches. I'll put some photos up of it later. Uh, it does require just a 12 volt power supply uh, running either off of switch power, probably best, or accessory power would work as well. It doesn't draw very much current when it's not running. Um, the sensors itself actually uses a Hall effect sensor, so it's magnetic. Uh, there's three small magnets that go on the steering shaft, and uh, that basically sets where the cancel points are uh, for how far you turn the wheel before it will uh, turn the signal off when it goes back to center or something like that. Uh, other than that, replacement switch, wire in power, and then attach the box uh, so the sensor's over the steering hub. That's about it.